Hi guys, Stay Dodder here, welcome to an unboxing video. This is a slightly different unboxing video than you're used to on my channel. Um, I was contacted recently by Elgato, who have offered me sponsorship for their uh, their Game Capture HD box, which is fantastic. Um, I've never recorded um, on an Xbox before. I had an Xbox 360 for a while, but I haven't had one for, for about a year now. Um, I got rid of that a while, while ago. Upgraded to uh, my Xbox One. Um, haven't recorded anything for that at all. Waiting for Minecraft to come out so I can do a series on there. Um, but in preparation for that, Elgato um, contacted me, offered me sponsorship, which is really cool. And um, yeah, as part of that, I said I'd do an unboxing for them. You've seen these before probably, so it's not going to be too in depth um, in terms of the actual box and what you get in it. But I'm going to show you the opening of that now, and then I'll show you the software and a little bit of footage from uh, from trials probably, and a little bit of watchdogs as well. So yeah, hope you enjoy, guys. <laughs> So, what's included in the box? Well, you get the Elgato Game Capture HD itself. That's um, not a lot bigger, if you haven't seen it before, not a lot much bigger than a, than a sort of pack of playing cards. It's quite a nice little, neat little unit. Um, included in the box also is a quick start guide. Very, very simple to use. You get a USB cable with it to connect up to your PC or your Mac. You also get an HDMI cable if you're using an Xbox or I think for Playstations as well. But also you get a PS3 cable as well. And you also get a component adapter as well. So yeah, that's all you get in the box, but that's all you need. There's no power cable, it's all self-powered through the USB um, as well, so that's brilliant. So yeah, it's very simple to use um, and very, very easy to set up. So here's the actual uh, box itself. I've got no sense of scale on there, but trust me, it's not much bigger than a, than a set of playing, playing cards. Very, very small. Um, only got a few connectors. It's got two on the front and two on the back. Um, I'll just change the image now and show you show you those. But you get on the on the front side or one side of it, you get HDMI out and a USB. So you use the HDMI out to connect up to your television or your monitor. Um, and the USB socket you plug in and connect to your, your PC or your Mac for your editing software. Um, and on the other side, you've got an AV in, so if you're doing, um, you want to put some audio in there or your component, that goes in there. Um, and the HDMI in is the connection from your console, from your Xbox or your PS, your, or your Xbox or your, P your PlayStation. Um, and that goes into that HDMI input. And you can use, obviously, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, but also Xbox 360 and Xbox One. So yeah, it's good for whatever console you've got. Um, you should be able to use it. So guys, here is the Elgato software itself. Um, on the right hand side you see it's got a, a panel with all the different settings you can use. I'll go through those in a second. On, obviously on the left hand side you can see the Xbox One's um, dashboard with all the different um, apps that we've got. We've got some games obviously here that I've got on my account, um, Netflix and Watch Dogs. I'll come to some of the games in a bit. But yeah, on the right hand side this is what we're here for. This is the, the software that you'll use to create your, to record your games and you can do some editing in here, some basic editing as well. I won't be, I'll be using my, my, my Vegas program that I use for my PC editing as well, but um, you can do it in a few different ways, so it's quite cool. Obviously this first tab is the capture tab, you've got some settings tabs and stuff up here which are literally just how you're, where you're going to save your recordings um, and conversions of newly recorded recordings and stuff. Um, basically it's got different apps you can use to, uh, you can different settings to record your, your videos to, so if you want to record for YouTube or Facebook or Twitter you can do those different settings there. Um, so yeah, that's the basic settings there. But yeah, capture capture section here. Um, obviously this is the device that I'm using. It's a 720p device, the Elgato. It's got your game audio, so if you want to adjust your game audio when you're playing, if you find it's too loud or too quiet, you can adjust the decibels there. I'm leaving mine on zero for now. I haven't really, I haven't actually recorded with this yet. I'm going to go, I'm going in totally blind. So the first time you see this will be the first time I've done a recording, so hopefully it'll work okay. But for now I'm going to leave that on zero. Um, if you want to do live commentary, you can uh, you can record straight over the top using your, your microphone. I've got a, a blue snowball, as it says here. So if you want to do live commentary on your videos, which is obviously what we do when we when we record our YouTube clips, um, that's what you would use. I would normally use Audacity, um, which means I can edit and adjust volumes um, separately when I do PC. Um, I'll give it a go using the blue, blue snowball. So obviously you can boost the volume of your, of your microphone when you're recording in the game. So hopefully that might work fine. And there's a little tick box underneath there, which is quite cool, which automatically reduces the the sound of the game when you're talking so if you're you've got something loud going if you're, if you're playing call of duty or you're recording something that's quite loud obviously when you speak the game the the software will automatically reduce the game volume so that your voice can be heard over the top which is quite a cool feature there is some um, some settings there for as well for ducking so i'll look at those i'm not going to show you on here but when the game sound is automatically reduced it's called ducking cool name um yeah so there's some, obviously some tweaks that you can do to it there if it's not quite working how you want 
If you want to stream, I haven't got any, my account set up here yet, and you can obviously change your message, but when guys stream, they'll say the game they're playing, put your Twitch account, then they or your YouTube account, and that will automatically set to stream, so you can do some live broadcasts of your games on um, straight from your Xbox, which is really cool. Um, and also on there, you've got the, the title of the video, which I can't quite see at the moment, because the... Can I move it out of the way? No, I can't. But the, yeah, yeah, that's that's your recording. Uh, recording. So if you want to literally start recording onto your Elgato, you press that box, and that will start a recording off for you. Um, and there's just also some some tags under there for video capture and stuff, which uh, I, I can scroll down, kind of. Yeah, this literally just tells you this is just your video title. It'll automatically give you a, a title to your video. I think again, if you're doing it, if you're uploading straight to YouTube, you could use that there. If you're not, if you're going straight to your computer, then obviously you'd edit all that yourself in your in your recording software. And then we've got the the editing software. So again, it shows the clip. That's a li that little three-second clip I recorded there. So it shows all your clips, and you can put them into a timeline and cut and chop about. But I won't be using that at all. Um, most people probably that use this will be editing in their own software in, in Premiere Pro or in Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro if you're using a Mac. Um, so yeah, that's really something I won't be touching at all in this. But really, for us, it's just literally using your capture device to capture your gameplay. So when you've got your, your gameplay ready, you'd get your Xbox on, put your game in, play Watch Dogs or FIFA or Trials for me. Um, and then you, you would click on the button get the game all, uh, ready, click record, and off you go. Obviously, you'd, you'd play your game through your normal TV. You'd watch it on your normal Xbox uh, monitor because there is a slight delay when you move the controller on here. So as you move your controller to the right, it will take a second or two to actually appear on your PC. But obviously, if you're looking at your uh, monitor while talking, then obviously you're going to see the game as it appears. So yeah, guys, that's the actual software for the Elgato. Um, now I'm going to play a bit of a few games. I might play some trials and a bit of Watch Dogs, and I'll uh, I'll cut that footage in and show you the quality the El the Elgato um, delivers. And yeah, so yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at that, and we will see what it comes out like. So as you can see, guys, this is a bit of trials. I'm just going to uh, play one of the level, a couple of the levels, just so you can see. But yeah, you can see, you can see the uh, the quality of the footage is is exactly as you would see on on screen. Um, it's it's fantastic. There's no delay. Obviously, while you're using the PC, it doesn't lag the game at all. Everything is running exactly as it would be had you not have uh, had you not have this connected to your PC to edit. Um, like I said, you wouldn't know it. Uh, the fact that it's playing onto a screen next to me as well as onto the, my my TV. Other than that, you really wouldn't know that there's anything going on. Um, no lag, no latency. It's amazing. Literally. Fantastic. Like I said, you've probably all seen this before. You've seen people use Elgato's before, but I've never used it. For me, it's, it's quite amazing to see that you can, you know, that it doesn't affect the, the gameplay at all. But yeah, brilliant. Really, really good. Really smooth. Really like it. So there you go. That is uh, that is one one little level of trials. I'm going to boot up Watch Dogs now. Um, have a little look at that. Not actually played Watch Dogs yet. Just installed it this morning. So I'm going to have a little go of that and show you some of that. And obviously that will be the same good quality. But we'll, uh, we'll show, show some of that now. So as you can see, this, we've just uh, got the intro scene from Watch Dogs on here now. Um, the last footage that I used for Trials, I used my Audacity program to record the audio. For this one, I thought I'd test out the, the ducking facility, or duck, ducking feature of this software for Elgato, um, just to see how it works with my voice and overlapping, or sort of ducking down the volume of the game. As you can see, um, Aiden's talking on screen now, and hopefully my voice is uh, is going to... to overpower the game sounds if you like make it louder so you can hear what I'm saying and it, it drops down the game and as I stop talking hopefully the game should get louder again this is from the very first uh, section of the game um, I'm not going to show any of this game I'm not going to feature uh, Watch Dogs on my channel at all because I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's uh, appropriate for my uh, for my channel at all but I'm just gonna just quickly do this now press and hold X to hack it But yeah, as you can see, I'm not going to do it. So I'm just literally going to walk around just so you can see that the footage is really crystal clear. All looks great. Um, the lights look exactly the same. Like I said, I've, I've viewed this back now, and as you can see, it's exactly the same as my uh, as the game itself um, plays. So yeah, fantastic, fantastic quality, fantastic product. I highly recommend you getting one. If you look in the description of the video, there is a link. So if you do want to get yourself your own uh, your own Elgato, you can do so using my link. And um, yeah. Go for it, guys. I highly recommend it. Uh, we can see some of your videos on. But for now, guys, I'll be safe. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little unboxing, a little uh, little show of, uh, of how the El Ghetto works and, uh, and and what it does. So yeah, for now, guys, I'll be safe, Doctor. And we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.